Hi, my name is Dana Eric, and I'm a PhD student at the Florida Museum of Natural History at the University of Florida. And I was recently the second author on a paper published in PLOS 1, um, looking at the potential for a megalodon shark nursery area in the Gatun Formation, um, which is about 10 million years old, down in Panama. And the specimens that we collected down in Panama are very interesting um, because of their small size. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Megalodon uh, was the largest shark that ever lived. It could have grown up to 60 feet in length, and here you can see the tooth of an adult Megalodon just to get a, an idea of their size. The teeth that we collected from the Gatun Formation in, in Panama were much smaller, uh, and I'm holding up a few of the, the smallest teeth here. You can barely even see uh, the one on, on my right, um, compared to teeth that we find uh, from parts of Florida, like the Bone Valley Formation, uh, which is one of the teeth I'm holding up here. So what we did was we compared the teeth that we collected in Panama with sites um, that had megalodon teeth that were both older than, than 10 million years old and younger than 10 million years old. To, to make sure that the, the teeth that we're finding in Panama just weren't from a shark that was smaller in size. And what we found was that teeth from the Bone Valley Formation in Florida, like this tooth here on my, in my right hand, um, were much larger than some of the teeth that we found down in Panama, like the tooth on my left hand. Uh, this Bone Valley Formation tooth is about 5 million years old. We also compared them with uh, sites from, uh, that were older in age and we also found the same thing, that the teeth that we were finding in Panama were, in fact, much smaller. Uh, we did find a few larger teeth in our study, uh, like this one I'm holding up here uh, in my left hand, but as you can see, still compared to the teeth from Bone Valley, the, the overall size is still uh, significantly smaller. Now, back 10 million years ago, um, in Panama, um, the the habitat was a uh, shallow marine tropical sea, um, which is perfect for uh, a, a shark nursery area. Looking at sharks today, like tiger sharks and white sharks, we know that they use shallow, uh, warm waters uh, as nursery areas for their young. And these areas are usually uh, high in, in food items, prey items like fish um, and other small sharks. Uh, the, their warm water to help the sharks grow faster and the the shallowness of the area um, acts as a deterrent for larger predators such as whales um, and like orcas and other large sharks um, so we know that the habitat was very conducive for smaller sharks and based on the size of the smaller teeth uh, we've concluded that the area along the coast of Panama um, at, in the Gatun Formation uh, most likely represented a nursery area for megalodon sharks. If you'd like to read more about this study, you can find the paper on the PLOS1 website. Thank you very much.